buddy Trolley Pool here, the Troll you can trust, back with another Walking Dead Road is Fine video featuring future ideas of the game and changes that can be made to this game that can make the game better than it was yesterday. Let's talk about it. Here's a list of ideas, suggestions, concerns, rants, critiques that if they would be implemented tomorrow, I feel that this could be headed in the right direction for the longevity of the game. These are in no particular order, so don't expect the closer we get to the final option that there is going to be a firework display. So let's get to it. Number 12. No more region wars, only cross region wars. A bigger pool of players will always be greater than a smaller pool of players when the event's success consists of having a large population of people participating in it. You have a lot more regions struggling than thriving, and even these new regions have a death date to them, which they all start off really great at the start. But then, as time goes on, when the growth stops, what do you think happens? That is the birth of a soon-to-be-dead region. It would be a pretty cool idea, is if how region wars are now, they can kind of turn into the new friendly faction battles, so that people in the same region can actually set up a war whenever they want, um, and then be able to practice and then be prepared for a cross-region war. Although I don't see this feature being for everybody, this would probably be down the road for factions who are pretty organized, and have members who really want to do this and will get together and then actually have to find another faction to do the same thing, so this isn't for everybody. Last but not least, if I had to mention anything on this list for the wars, is let's have this a little bit more dynamic and can we have different towers for every war? The monotony sits in after the same towers and I mean the game has a lot of monotony to it, so this could help take a little bit of that away. Number 11, drop leads. Theoretically, behind the scenes, we should have what we obtain with zero drop leads and compare that what we get with our current drop leads. Anything that is extra, we can color code it and put it after all the normal loops so we can tell visually how good of an output we actually gained from using that drop leader. Number 10, displaying the enemy team grade when raiding. So when raiding, it would be very convenient to have the team grade of the person we are raiding on the enter a raid screen. The team grade can be displayed here, 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 here. With how monotonous rating events are, removing this mundane, monotonous action would be in the right direction. I've been in my region now for over two years, and I still have to check people's teams as people are still progressing. Imagine a new region. This would be very helpful. Dumbo 9, Trainer Ascending. As of this recent Rise to Power event rewards, I, for some reason, have left the Bradys and the Basils alone for too long one hour later. When I got back to check on them, they have multiplied like rabbits, and I don't even know what to do anymore. What we need to be able to do here is smash them together and don't mind their screams, then throw it as hard as you can against this monument. That has to be this monument, and don't ask why, and when that happens, it evolves into... And there you have it. Just like that, we can ascend our trainers one tier higher. On a serious note though, let us send trainers as if there was anyone out there training to get better, it would be them since they are called the trainers. Number eight. What do we do with all this wood? One thing we could do with all this wood is we could build a big ass boat. I'm on a boat. And then have that take us somewhere where we could do more stuff. Another use we could use for our wood scenario is a building like a furnace or something that we can just donate or just shove wood in there and then we get buffs or after a certain amount of time it gives us items in return. I do have an idea for our excess wood which mixes in a one-time payment plus a never-ending wood cost that is needed in completing this new game mode. I will talk about this more when we get into our new events slash revamped events section. Comment down below if you have any cool useful ideas that we can do with wood. We can turn them into logs because, you know, all kids love log. What rolls downstairs, the motor and pairs, rolls over your neighbor's dog. Number seven, being able to gain status resistances. Leadership buff for resistances. Whether we can get 80% or 100% resistance towards a crowd control effect for a leadership ability by itself or with another buff too, I feel we can create more unique survivors and interesting combat techniques for raiding and wars. When I go up against a team like this, and I completely understand why so many high damaging red survivors are coming out for premieres, who knows, maybe, maybe we can get a new game mode where we are the Negan tank, with all the resistances, all the gadgets and doohickeys that we pick going into battle, and we need to kill teams that are highly synergetic, whether it be PvP or PvE based. This could also lead into events or new game modes where vehicles are used during battle with just other vehicles or with survivors too. 
we can upgrade our vehicles such as motorcycles, jeeps, tanks, SUVs, etc. with certain aspects just like you're gearing up for a raid or a war. Adding vehicles and static resistances to our teams could branch out into a new event or a game mode. This does need more thought behind it, so I'm going to be like a parrot and I'm going to say this again. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of how we could possibly make something new here. Number 6. Showing some more statistics. I do feel like we should have tower timers that tell us how long it took us to take a tower in a war. And this is just for walkers, not people. I also do think at the end of every war there should be a, at least for the start, a small statistic page showing how many defends that you had and how many times you were attacked. Number 5. Stop putting this in this. Good job on displaying the highs to get people excited, but that doesn't mean you need to put stuff in here to give people Super Saiyan Fire's remorse. I mean, what is the point of this? Let's give people the cans. Number four, scavenger camp revamp. The times with the rewards just do not make sense with what we currently can get in the state of the game. You have two scavenger camp missions up there that take a week to do, and those rewards we can get five in a week. That doesn't make any sense. At this point of the game, anything that we have to wait a week for should progress our main or secondary rosters, which would be our, like your tower team. Anything a week long or more should be giving Legendary Gear a Benedict or a Lilith, or you can break these three choices into item pieces, where we can get a piece from scavenging, sort of makes sense, right? And then we can combine to make a piece of Legendary Gear. We can combine them to make a Benedict or a Lilith from our museum. To me, that sort of fits the whole scavenging and piecing things together later for us to be able to use it. Another thing I've noticed that the scavenger camps are lacking is there, there are no Ascendance Medals for rewards. Those do need to be added. Last but not least on the list for scavenger camps, I feel that every time we complete a scavenger camp, we should be awarded also Faction Assault Tickets. Number 3 display the critical strike chance on our survivors. It would be really nice to see the critical strike chance that some survivors have from just a base standpoint when you're looking at a character sheet all the way to when you're actually fighting them and they have some critical strike buffs as that information becomes extremely helpful. Number two, faction tower. Having a faction ability could serve some purpose and open up new type of game modes or have some of the new game mechanic invent ideas from what has been stated in this video. This could be the driving force of an extra buff or something special we can get for our defense teams for when people raid. Example being a 10-30% to 30 resistance to Confuse. With there being a cost for having such a buff, potential wood sink maybe? This faction tower could also serve a purpose for regions being able to do mock wars. To where they can war each other whenever when it's not a war event. There's just so many ideas I feel we can put together to have a new building with some new features. I mean, it isn't too far-fetched considering the majority of games I've played on my mobile devices have some sort of a guild or a faction main building that serves some purpose. Number one, linking your account other than just Facebook. Facebook should not have any relation as heavy as it does in our account on this game, as losing a Facebook account in any manner makes someone lose their account here, which makes no sense. That would be like saying in real world terms, I can't get my driver's license, so now I can't live in my house anymore. A better example would be, let's say you're an Android user. Having it linked with the Google Play Store would make more sense, as it is not only the marketplace where I got the game, but I also needed a Google Play account to get the game. Now I understand there are examples of Amazon Kindles and Nokias that do not support Google services. Alright, that makes sense, which you would all be in the right to do that, but since this is the only thing you offer to save our game through Facebook, what is upsetting players as issues are arising and will continue to happen so long as this system is in place. We as players need more options to link our accounts for safety. Also, as soon as Facebook became heavily and openly political, I would have taken other routes to make sure players' accounts were more secure. This will be part one of the video and I decided to make the next section its own video so that I can get more content out to you all in a timely manner. The next video, which will be part two to this one, will be dealing with new events slash revamped events. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it made you laugh, or if you were anything positive, please get a nice karate jump to that subscribe and like button. That support's greatly appreciated. Comment, like, subscribe, and other than that, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.